Uh, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and today we're going to test some ceramics in a Haas UMC 750SS. Now check this out. We're going with a six flute can of metal half inch ceramic cutter. You know what the cool thing is? If you actually look at Novo, if you actually look at the specs for this tool, they call out the chip load at like 0.0011 to 0.0015. But what if we actually go way up to 0.0025 inches per tooth? And that's gonna give us a feed rate of 227 inches per minute. Dude, that's gonna be insane. Oh, let's make this happen. Oh, this thing is like super sick. Now, one of the things that I'll say is that a lot of people are like looking at the fire and they're thinking like, oh, there's too much heat in the tool. But that's the cool thing about ceramics. Ceramics is like chemically inert. So basically it doesn't even recognize the heat. So even though you see the fire, you see the flame, the cool thing is exactly that. It's cool underneath that heat. The ceramic feels no heat and the heat actually is dispersed outside of the tool. 1968 SFM, that is absolutely incredible. But that's the whole thing about ceramics. You have to run them fast. So you can actually take this tool, if you have the right machine, up and over 3,000 surface foot. So like 3,000, 3,300 surface foot, boom. That is like a sweet spot right there. Ah, just insane. So now we're like past like the five minute, six minute mark. It's just running nonstop. It looks absolutely beautiful. The sound hasn't changed. Nothing has changed. Now this is when you start really realizing 
that this process of removing ink and oil is actually incredibly efficient. And that's why they say ceramics is the most efficient way to rough nickel alloys. Now we've shown you the ceramic cutters on the Tormach. And we've shown you on the Haas with different speeds, different feeds based on the machine and the application. So keep tuning in because we'll bring even more videos showing ceramics in dynamic applications, making it happen. Now, again, I just want to stress the importance of understanding the application, understanding the tool, the ceramics, and also understanding other tools like the Harvey 3 end mill. So the ceramics excels in this application, but if you actually look at the tool, you don't have a huge flute length to it. And that's one of the drawbacks. Whether it be shell mills or end mills, you're usually taking a pretty shallow depth of cut, which is awesome because it murders that material, right? But on certain applications where you have to drop down with only an end mill and you have to get into crazy grooves and you have to have a long flute length, then you definitely would use the six flute carbide Harvey 3. That is a crazy tool also, and it has the flute lengths. Like you can take a three quarter inch tool and drop down four inch in titanium or ink canal, and it'll just handle it. It won't go as fast as a ceramics, but it will last long. So when it comes to both types of tools, make sure you have a good understanding and look at your application and make sure that you choose wisely. Oh man, what a crazy test this is. That tool looks amazing. We're up over 12 minutes of non-stop cutting and you can't even hear a difference. Like it sounds so good. Boom!